if you haven't watched my skincare routine i suggest you check that description box but i'm starting off with the super goop unseen sunscreen please wear your spf apply it all over yes your face and your body okay not just your body your entire faces and your ears too but i'm going in with the becca pore mattifying primer for my eyebrows and then i'm going to follow up using this translucent powder by laura mercier this is a little bit of a different step because sis sometimes these gel pomades get a little oily so i wanted to create a super matte base now with the la girl brow pomade i'm going in to create a line now let's just have a quick kiki about these brows because i'm not always sure what they're doing you know sometimes they look like a strange sisters distant cousins okay recently divorced i don't know what we have going on I feel like it worked out in the end. I, that's just the goal for my brows. As long as it works out in the end, you know, how we go about filling them in and shaping them can be scary, but it works out. So I went in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Pure Beige and I sculpted these brows, okay, as best as I could to make sure that they look at least like sisters. And of course you want to bring this down to the mobile lid so that you create a nice even canvas i hate that the palette i'm going to be using for the eyeshadow is discontinued but violet boss has plenty of palettes and i'll link a similar one below but i'm going into the eyeshadow called are you kidding me and focusing this on the outer perimeter but i'm going to drag it forward towards the inner corners of the eye because we want to create a transitional color and then i'm going in with hashtag but focusing this more so on the outer corner the outer v to just give it a nice orangey very warm feel next up is the nyx glitter base i'm not sure how much i like it if you have any recommendations leave it below sis but i like to use a very tightly packed brush to apply this a nice even layer make sure it's not clumpy because that definitely makes a difference and then with the e.l.f. glitter eyeshadow, this is in 24 karat gold, I believe. I really like this, it's inexpensive. It creates a nice metallic gold base. Again, this is what I want all of y'all to get into because you might think the metallic golds aren't your thing, but just trust me on this. Like we slaying this, we slaying this year and y'all love this look. I think it best pairs with the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Kilowatt Highlighter. It's like a perfect gold shadow just to go on top and make things pop. But here's the key. You cannot forget this step. You need to take the Are You Kidding Me eyeshadow and drag it into the gold. So when you blur the lines of where the gold starts and so it blends more seamlessly into the more neutral color eyeshadow. I wanted to try things different on my face, so I'm using this Revolution Mattify Primer. So it definitely blurs the skin. I actually like how this wears on the skin. I found this at the drugstore. Again, the verdict is not fully out. I probably need to use it a few more times, but so far, it's working because your girl was shiny beforehand. Now this is an extra step because this is sweat proof and this is for the summer. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with a sponge and I'm just going to pat this into the skin. You do look a little bit ghostly, it's given very much ashy, it's given very much powdered donut, but it works out because we wanna stay matte all throughout the day. Now I thought to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick, but girl, I'm not sure this base is working. Like this combination of products could be a little problematic. Y'all let me know. But this is a great match for my skin tone. But I decided to follow up with Miss Pat McGrath. This is her Sublime Fetish Foundation. And let me just tell you something. It's a little bit darker than I am, but listen, the finish on it is superb. She did her thing and I just love to integrate it as much as possible. And before I started blending it with the e.l.f. beauty sponge, I just, you know, hit my face with a little bit of a water mist. And I didn't like how the sponge was working, so I got this e.l.f. brush and I like it. I think this combination of products works best with a brush. Not everything is gonna work with a sponge, so sometimes change the tools you're using and, you know, always be open to switching up your technique to fit the products. Now to contour, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 356. And this is all about, you know, how you chisel and define your face and add structure. You can use as much as you like. 
I tend to uh, do my thing, and some people may say this is extra, but this is my face. You could do what works on yours. I do think this is a really good product though. But just make sure you blend, spend plenty of time blending your face. And again, I'm going back in with the LA Girl Concealer to highlight using a little less product, you know, cause we got a lot going on. And to further define my contour, especially around the cheekbones, I like to use a little bit of the concealer to just emphasize it and accentuate it. Make it a little bit more defined. And we should always be blending for our lives. Now, I love this sponge. This is one of my favorites. ELF has really good products. Do not sleep on them. Super affordable, mostly at the drugstore, but girl, price point, is just impressive, especially if you're experimenting. And this is also a really good brush when you're applying your translucent powder. If you want accuracy, the top of the sponge is really, really good. It's great for under the eye, around the contours and the cheekbone, just all over the face, honestly. And again, we're back to giving powder donut because again, this has to be a matte look because within a few hours, your girl gets oily. And I'm going in with this Sephora bronzer called Mykonos. I love this product and I can't wait for more people to start talking about it. Sephora has some nice bronzers, please. Like, it's giving very much like a toasted coconut donut and I love the color combination. And of course, I don't let the white powder sit on my face. I like to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder in 334 just to blend everything together. And it sort of takes away the white cast. And again, enhancing the look requires that you add a little bit of color, the same color from the crease right under the lower lash line. And we definitely have to set this matte look, so I'm using the Hydra Bio Mist. This has a continuous and fine mist. I love this. And just give this time to set into your skin. And then I'm gonna move on to, you know, filling out the waterline. And this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I love it. It's in perversion. This is like the darkest, deepest color, and it just looks so good. It makes you look super sultry. Like if you want to smize without even smizing, this is the product that you need. Now you guys know the Wet n Wild Mega Liner is perfect for doing your wing. Even if you don't want to do like a super dramatic wing eyeliner like I do, this is really great because it dries down matte. It has a super rich and intense color. It creates a lot of just like sultry drama that's perfect for this look. But it has a super fine point, which is so ideal when you are trying to create your wing. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Big Pop on Mascara. I really like this, you get a ton of product. The wand is a little bit larger, but again, it applies a great deal of product, so it's gonna accentuate the top and bottom lashes. And of course, I had to apply my favorite lashes. These are lashes that you can get at the beauty supply store for like $4. They're from the iconic IMB collection. They're Style 01. They're long, but not as wispy, but they definitely give you a ton of drama. And I would recommend for beginners, if you're applying lashes, definitely use tweezers. It will help to ensure that your lashes are super close to the lash line. I love creating cohesive looks. And so I'm gonna be using that same kilowatt highlighter that I used on the mobile lids as a highlighter. This is gonna be my base highlight. And I just, I don't mind looking gold. You know what I'm saying? Me and the sun are one, okay? We glow. And then with the blush lighter combination from Wet n Wild, this is in Flash Me. I like to focus that light rose gold on top of the Trophy Wife highlighter.
And you know around these parts, I like to use a liquid lipstick as my lip liner. It has better payoff, better intensity, more of a long wear look and finish. And I just love that it dries down matte. And the Tom Ford Pink Dusk lipstick is such a great neutral, especially for my queens who are my complexion or even have a deeper complexion. It literally just works. This is one of the best combinations. And I'm using the Tower 28 Beauty Lip Gloss. It gets no juicier, no glossier. This one is <laughs> next level. You'd need this in your collection. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one.